Hello, my name is Madame Kofnus Kotz and welcome back to my channel. Booty for booty, an informative channel where I explain things and do the famous stuff on the YouTube. Today is again one of those days where companies just push out stuff and people buy it. Heart shaped, pink, red, flowers, alcohol filled chocolate. Everything is bought. It's one of those commercialized and capitalized days when nobody really cares from where it is coming from and what fucking saying did what on this day. And brothels and restaurants are booked out. And I thought, what can I do on this day? And then I thought, oh yeah, you know what? Heart shape. <laughs> However heart-shaped things and I can dive into the history and the background of the heart-shaped and there are a lot of theories from where this symbol is coming from. There is one theory because the Romans and the Greeks they had a plant and it was called Silphium I think don't quote me on that it is already extinct because we know humanity if we like something we use it up till it's extinct or it kills us and Silphium was an, a medicine and it was also its it's thought it was used for uh, birth control and it should have a sign of a heart shape. And staying with the theme of leaves, there is also the theory of the fig leaf or the ivy leaf, especially the red one. It was liked to use in the Middle Ages, the red ivy for love and in a lot of um, Middle Age songs and, and uh, writings and books. There are a lot of signs where people... There is one very famous one. I think it's called... Uh, Roman... De la Poire? I don't know. Like something like that where the guy knees and he is holding up a symbol to the lady. And I think it should be some kind of leaf. And people say it, it resembles the heart shape. But for me, it looks like a liver and it's way more logical that somebody gives you a liver that has more nutrition than a heart and it's a bigger sign of love. But I digress. So they let's believe that leaves are a sign also in the 1300s. Doctors started to use as the, of the at, anatomical symbol in, med, in medicine at that time, if you want to call it medicine, leaves as the symbol of the heart. Before that, I think it was pine cones and, and other shit like that. But it was never the anatomical heart. Actually, a lot of people didn't know how like everything is working because it was very rare. First of all, there was no pictures or videos at that time. And second of all, it was quite rare that you could get your hands on a, on a dead body or a body and cut it up and that you are so skilled to cut it up. So yeah, nobody fucking knew. But and then, of course, because of Christianity and the heart symbol with Jesus, it spread. But of course, there is an other myth how the heart symbol started. And I think it's the most famous one and the one that most people heard of. And it's the one that is compared with body parts like the boobs or a bending forwards woman with her ass and the vagina. I'm so allowed to say things like that on the Internet. Who the fuck is like this is now it. So that's another theory how this should be. And actually I can, I can imagine that this is true, like that this was the symbol for that. Because I mean, sexuality in humanity is always quite important to develop stuff. I mean, military and porn is quite important to decide what to choose when it comes to, to media at least. So maybe, maybe, at the brothels, there was always this sign for like, yeah, bending forwards woman. Actually, like the brothels then used this red ivy leaf and it also looks like a heart and red light. I mean, they still use red light till now. The brothel that is near my my condo on, on the street, it also always used red light. Sadly, it closed out. It started to struggle to stay. I think I spit. Who the fuck is? Do they go? Where I was? Oh yeah, the brothel on the corner. The brothel on the corner um, had also red lights and it closed down. It closed down a long time ago. It started to struggle to stay in business when the law changed in my country. They changed the law so that all the girls are not allowed to stay outside or knock in the windows because before that they could advertise the, the etabismo with girls at the windows. Cat? No. 
uh, at the window. But then some concerned parents were afraid that the kindergartners stroll around at midnight and see them, these ladies. And so they changed it. Actually, it was really always at night. It was not that you go at daytime and these girls were knocking and banging their boobs at the, at the window or standing outside. It was always at night. It's not like Amsterdam where they shake their stuff all the time. It was only at night that you could see them. But it was forbidden and since then, like this poor little brothel there, struggled and now it's closed on. Actually, there is a fun fact. There are two types of brothels. I tried to find the English translation for it. There is the brothel, it's the, the classical one. And then there is the one, and if I would um, translate it, what the word it would be running house, walk-in house, it's love house. And it's not like a brothel, but if I, if I search love house, I could find brothel. But cat, but it's not, uh, it's not like a brothel. And now, there is another information, education here. I am an educational channel. So the two brothel types here in my country, there is the one where the adult Miss Mo has um, an owner uh, and it has a bar and sometimes stripper places and the girls work there. And there are certain rules for this adult Miss Mo and everybody is coming in and, and everybody has to uh, acquire these rules. And the girls also have to pay the 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 owner and there is also this thing with how many drinks the customers are drinking and so on and so on and then this other walk-in at Abismo it is mainly a building where they rent just rooms there is no real pimp like in the other in the brothel in the classic brothel there is the pimp it's the owner it's like an old west saloon but the other one it's uh, there, are, there are no rules there is this girl and she's renting the room and customers are coming she, Nobody decides what she's doing and how she's doing it and what she offers and and that. There is, um, she's doing everything. Sometimes, you know, there are security people in this house where the girl can go to, but it's not like in, in, a, in a classical brothel. They are more um, self-employed and with the other one, they are employed. I mean, both types have to pay in my country taxes. Um, have to, yeah. And they have to pay them and they also have this card. I think it's this health card and they have to have it where their dress is on and also their, uh, I think it's yearly or I don't know exactly. I heard that it's yearly, but who the fuck knows? Like I, I, I should have gone to one of those girls and asked, but, but there is this, this health card that they have with their medical checkups already. And they all, of course have to pay taxes because in my country we pay taxes for like, if we go some to the hospital, we do not have to pay immediately, we pay with our taxes, all that stuff. The same goes for some medications. But now you learned about brothels. I mean, you have not learned where the heart shape is from because it's not this thing where the heart shape is from. I mean, as I said, people, there is this big rumor that it is shown as boobs or as a bending form of its woman, but it is also that could be um, leaves because leaves was always also a symbol of love, especially ivies, lilies, lilies, fig leaves. It, it was always a symbol for love and it looks kind of similar to our modern harp shape. And I mean, fucking heart shape does not look like an anatomical heart. If you have ever seen or eaten a heart, I mean, not a human heart. I mean, do you do? But actually, as a human, eating other humans is not healthy. It's kind of dangerous because we have a lot of viruses and viruses, bacteria, I'm talking about bacteria, but we have a lot of stuff inside of us that can kill humans and cannibals could go crazy. Like there are a lot of studies you can find of, of cannibal tribes where they started to get crazy because uh, the hu eating the human flesh is not good in a big consumption. But then eating raw liver is also not good because I have to think of that middle-aged guy who gave the lady a liver. I think that's it. And I even dressed up appropriately in it's it's a movie okay if anybody says anything else fuck music it's a movie watch it please watch the old one i heard that there are at least there is at least one remake i haven't seen but the old one is nice the old one is nice and watch it and that's it my friends my kids your teacher is going home no i'm st i'm at home I'm staying here and I hope you learned a lot, you had fun and if you ever come to my country and want to have a citizenship, I hope that the profile question is coming because I think it's the most important thing. I think if my country has a citizenship, 
question, test, paper, whatever. You need to know the differences of the two profiles. I mean, there's also the differences of, of the outside working ladies. There are also the ones that have pimps and then there are ones that work on their own. And then there are ladies that have their own rent apartments. It's a complicated thing, but mainly you have just to focus that there are two types of profiles. And the one is with a bar very often that you can also drink. It's more an etablis, more you go there, you can drink. I don't know if you can eat there, but in movies they always show that you can eat there. But I think it's only in America and in America, I think brothels are not allowed. I am not sure, but it, at least there is music and dancing and and girls and then if you like one you can go there and with the other one you walk in and you have already checked the girl so you booked her room there is no drinking and then deciding which girl you, you go on the side you see what room where she is and you book it actually that's it i think so creepy cat and that's it. I have a good night, have a good day, have a good morning, whatever time you are in and bye. Hello, my name is Madame Kofnuskotz and welcome back to my channel. Booty for booty, an informative channel where I explain things and I do the famous stuff on the YouTube. Today is one of those days. Those days. 